Okay, we continue 3D tool and the interesting tool here is, uh, as you can see, 3D pen on a garment and it's edit tool and 3D base. It means you can draw directly on a 3D on a garment. Okay, for example, here <clears throat> we simulate and we want to draw a line exactly on a 3D and you can do it with uh, 3d pen garment as you can see you can directly click and drag and as you can see it's automatically defined the curves and it's exactly like a polygon pen here you can uh, you can um, with a control holding control and as you can see you can uh, draw a curve on your line and you can uh, <clears throat> back to uh, first line and finish it okay and as you can see we have a line here and if you select it here you can go to the edit and you can directly edit it on a 3d or you can right click delete that point or right click you can add a point the uh, point that you right click okay you can then edit it you can double click it and right click and add a curve point if you want to for example curve it here right click at a curve point and drag it secure you can double click to select hole and you can cut it cut and sweet and trace as an internal shape internal shape or you can convert it to the internal uh, shape it means um, if you click it it convert to the internal line that's uh, like a shape and it is an internal line you can do lots of things with that you can cut it sweet and copy as a pattern a cloning as a pattern okay it means um, you can directly um, draw a, a 2d here internal line and it's uh, going to the 3d but it's it, it's not very useful tool but it's there the most useful tool is in a, a, a 3D avatar pen. For example, you insert your 3D, I explain in the next lesson, you insert <clears throat> your a custom avatar and you want to pattern exactly on its body and you can do it. For example, here you can, we have an internal line and as you can see, you can very easily directly draw that shape and it's go on a 3D. Okay, it's very a special uh, example for that that I explained now. For example, uh, as you can see in uh, knowledge of sewing and close designing, this is on the sleeves. This is on the form for a sleeves. Where this form came from? Okay. Uh, I put it there and I want to <clears throat> draw it exactly care from here in it. 3d uh, i bring it a little up i want to create this shape with this new tool that i explained um you can delete it not important <clears throat> okay for example we have a, a, a pattern here that we want to create uh, sleeves from this for doing that I want to wrap it around the arm. Select arrangement point and do it like this. And that's it. Okay, that's nice. Going to uh, arrangement. Where is the arrangement here? The arrangement and here you can position, you can change the offset, change a little bit offset to make it tighter okay we'll bring it here turn off the little bit offset okay that's nice i'm trying to match it on the arm you can uh, turn off the avatar and uh, rotate it better 
something like this. For example, I want to can change the offset. I want to cut exactly. Uh, uh, for example, we have a pattern here that I want to uh, create a cut and to connect this new pattern to the that. And as you can see, automatically that form, this form will be uh, create. Uh, for doing that, I go into the uh, 3D pen garment and begin from here, select, and as you can see, automatically <clears throat> there are a curve for us. Going here, going there, there, to the end. And double click to finish it. And as you can see, this uh, pattern will be created there. And that's it. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, you have to adjust it because I think I make it wrong there. Going to the edit, edit pattern. Oh, where's that? Edit, select that. Point and make it a little bit here. And as you can see, we have a similar curve like this. Just I want to show you this form came from in this point. And that's it. Okay. For example, like this. <clears throat> uh, you can then double click it and uh, right click and trace it as an internal shape. And you can go into the 2D, for, you can manage it in a curve or anything that you want. Manage and right click and cut it. And delete it. And here are shape. Just want to show you the little usage of this tool. And after that, you can go into the, for example, free swing, swing this part, the this part, to, I'm oh, sorry, escape it. Free swing, swing this part from this, from here to there. Boom. As you can see, you can create something like this. And for both sides, you can swing. It's not very good, but uh, I want to explain you this shape come from in this uh, method. That's it. Another 3D tool that you can create with click and drag in a free hand is a 3D base pen. As you can see, you can just click and drag and draw any shape that you want like this. And after that, you can trace it. It's a, uh, you can with a not trace tool, you can right click, trace it as a pattern, trace it as a shape and anything that you want. But I prefer directly draw a shape in a 2D with a very comfortable and easy tool in a 2D and directly cut it in a 3D. I think these tools are not very useful, but the avatar uh, 3D pen is very nice and useful and you can uh, draw your pattern on your custom 3D model. It's very interesting. Waiting for next lesson. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.